How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. I want to show you how to quickly solve a very common problem where you have a tub spout shower combo. And that is you turn the water on and you divert the valve. So you pull up on the handle or you pull down like this one to turn your shower on. Your shower might turn on, but you still get water leaking out of your tub spout. Let me demonstrate. So good news is there is an easy fix for this and often it just takes a couple minutes and really no tools depending on what kind of tub spout you have. So usually this issue comes from the actual diverter option on your tub spout. All the diverter does is what's happening is when you turn the water on from your mixing valve, the water is flowing through the path of least resistance. So it's going down the pipe and through your tub spout. Then when you pull up on that diverter rod or down like this one right at the spout, that will block the path of the water. And now the path of least resistance is going up through the shower head. So that's how you divert the flow from the tub spout up through the shower head. Now, if you have a bunch of mineral deposits that built up over the years, that gate that shuts the water off here at the tub spout, can become blocked or partially blocked like what is going now. So although it does flow water through your shower head, it's partially still open so you still get that little bit of water coming through the tub spout. So removal of the tub spout is very easy and there are a few different designs but this one really you just have to unscrew it in the counterclockwise direction. So you just start to unscrew it and it will take several turns. Now my tub spout is off, and just for your reference, this is a delta type of valve and tub spout combo, and it has this adapter where there is, you shouldn't see any Teflon tape. Some people put Teflon tape at these back threads, but that actually really isn't what's needed for this design because this O-ring at the front is what is actually doing the sealing and making sure you don't have leaks out the back of the tub spout. So with this one, you can see all the mineral deposits that are on this tub spout. So I'm gonna to try to get that off. And really what we're trying to do is, hopefully you can see down in there, you can see the little plate that's popped up. That would let water come through the tub spout and down. But when you pull this down, you can see it closes that off and that would close the water off going through the tub spout and push it up through your shower valve. Now, what's happening is there's probably some mineral deposits stuck down within the spout itself, which is allowing that to stay partially open. So let me show you how to fix that. So all you need is a container that will be able to fully submerge or close to fully submerge your tub spout. Then I'm using a 28 fluid ounce container of CLR. And I'm gonna mix one part CLR to the same volume of water. Now, if you have white vinegar around the house and you wanna try this, that might also work as well, which that can break up the mineral deposits. But I have good luck with CLR in the past. Then I'll just let the tub spout sit in the solution for 15 minutes where it will start to loosen up and break free all those mineral deposits. Then you might want gloves for this part because you don't want to be sticking your hands in the CLR, but I'll use an old toothbrush and kind of work it around breaking up all those mineral deposits and trying just to clean up the tub spout. Then I'll start flushing things out, continuing to scrub the tub spout, and then I will start to open and close the diverter valve, again, trying to break free the mineral deposits inside. That is really all there is to it. You can see just even externally, the mineral deposits are far less. So let's go ahead and reinstall it and test it out. Now remember, for this type of tub spout and adapter, the O-ring is already on there, so I don't need to use any Teflon tape. Now, if you have the threads at the end of your tub spout and they're just what are called pipe threads, or if it's at the start of the tub spout and they're just pipe threads, you do need to install new Teflon tape to make sure you don't have any leaks. So all I need to do is rotate this clockwise now. So 
So that with this type of tub set, you just rotate it until it's snug with your surround. So now let's test it out. So that is vastly better. I still have a few drops leaking out here and there, but it is night and day just by freeing up those mineral deposits in the diverter itself to then allow the water to go up through the shower head itself. Now, if that doesn't work, you can take that spout down to your home improvement store and most likely get a direct replacement. So you can try the CLR or vinegar to try to get the mineral deposits out. Don't spend too much time if you're having trouble before just running down and getting a replacement because a replacement is usually only about 10 to $15. So that's it. Hopefully that helped you out. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, if you're seeing issues that you want some help with. I'd be happy to jump in and help you out. And before taking off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have videos like this coming out multiple times per week to help you with your repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.